One example of how effective asthma treatment can be is asthma in sport. There's been a fascinating study of Olympic athletes, and that shows that asthma is overrepresented in that group. In other words, there are more people with asthma as Olympic athletes than in the general population. Not only that, they win more medals. So what's going on? Well, it could be something as simple as the stress of the breathing in and out of extreme exercise induces asthma in these people, which it wouldn't otherwise in the normal population. Or it could just mean that asthma treatment is more effective, helps them to breathe better, and they try harder because they're overcoming what they see as a disability. Either way, it's good news. Asthma is actually really common in elite athletes, when you'd probably think that it would be the opposite. In 2004, 21% of the British Olympic team had asthma, in comparison to only 8% of the British population. How do elite athletes do so well when you think that having asthma would actually be a disadvantage? Well, just like other areas of their health and fitness, they understand how to manage the symptoms really well. And by doing the hard yards in the pool and training really hard, then that reduces their symptoms and increases their lung function. Instead of shying away from exercise, people with stable asthma should actually really get involved and use it to their advantage. Exercises like swimming doesn't tend to aggravate symptoms as much as other vigorous activities like running and cycling. So as you're breathing, you tend to breathe in warm, moist air, which reduces the irritation to the airways and therefore allows you to exercise for longer and take in better lung volumes. It's great for cardiovascular fitness and not to mention, it's great for the kids. <laughs>